hope you're having a great day. If you don't know me yet, my name is Ingrida and welcome to my channel. This video, I thought I'm gonna show you my go-to current eye makeup that doesn't take much time or effort, especially when you're in a rush. Like, I have super hooded eyes. You know, I can't just go with mascara because my hoods are so... Yeah, first, it's unequal. And if you have hooded eyes, I'm sure it's not equal on both eyes for you as well. And, you know, to make my eyes appear a bit bigger and more awake, I need to wear the eyeshadow. But usually, I don't really have time for that, you know? And probably everyone has, you know, busy life and everything, so you're kind of running around with your own stuff. Don't really have time in the morning to do some kind of super fancy eyeshadow look or the eyeliner. But we're gonna be using the eyeliner today, but in a bit different way, if that makes sense, because there's time for the eyeliner in the morning, especially with hooded eyes. So without any further ado, let's do this. I already prepped and primed my eyes. What I mean by that, I did add a little bit of the concealer when I was doing my foundation, my base, because as you see, I have already the base ready. And then some setting powder, just to you know the same one as I was doing my old face. For the eyeshadow, for everyday look, I prefer the more natural colors, like browns and, you know, blacks and grays. Recently, I've been obsessed with Huda Beauty Warm Brown Obsession Palette. So this is what I'm gonna use today. I'm gonna start from this light shade, a little fluffy brush this one is just a basic eyeshadow brush from real techniques and i'm gonna go and create my kind of base transition color kind of ish well no it's not really basically gonna go higher when my natural creases the socket bone so i'm going a little bit higher so if my eyes are open i can see i'm not going where my hood actually creases because that would make no sense so i'm gonna go there and in the outer corner of the eye So what I'm doing next, I'm taking this smaller densier brush. This one is shading brush once again by Print Techniques. I don't know why these two call the same name because that one was way much bigger. See, the first one is so much bigger than the second one that I'm taking. And I'm gonna go with this dark color that we have in here in a C shape on the outer corner. We're just gonna do this. Here we go, like that. So starting from the outer corner, blending inwards and then what's left on the brush blending slightly a bit on this crease part that we created and what's left on the brush i'm going to the lower lash line on the outer corner to kind of blend this darker color for it this is literally the easiest makeup look I think I ever created. So I'm taking the fluffier brush that I used before to apply that base shadow color, the lighter brown, kind of blending all together. Literally, in the morning when I'm in the rush, this doesn't take me in the five minutes. See, I'm not putting much effort or anything. Where's your color screw? Okay, next thing we're gonna do, take this light color in here. I packed this on my finger, by the way. And I'm just going in the middle and in the beginning and later take a brush out. So for this, you could go with a shimmer if you wish, but I'm going with a matte because it's morning when I'm filming and I'm going for more of a daytime look, although shimmery, no, always fit the idea. Taking the same brush I used before again for this base color and just blend this. So I don't have any product on this brush, I just blend through what we have in here, what I have applied. I'm taking a small dense brush and the same color we started with and I'm gonna go on the lower lash line. And the makeup look is nearly done, literally. I'm gonna take a little bit of a highlighter. This one is Contour and Glow Palette by Makeup Revolution. And I'm just gonna highlight my inner eye corner with this light color. This is my current go-to contour and highlight palette. That's why I'm using it in this video. Because I'm literally using the products that I am obsessed currently. Okay, now for the eyeliner part. As I mentioned, we're gonna do a little bit of the eyeliner. I'm gonna take the Renaissance Flick by Makeup Revolution. And what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go super close to the lash line. I'm not doing a flick or anything, super close to the lash line, and I'm kinda gonna work into the lash line with this. And that's it. No flick, no nothing, just, you know, into the lash line. You can extend a bit with your natural line, but where your lashes go on the side, but super, like, thin line, but nothing else. I 
I didn't do like a proper flick or anything in here, can I just went slightly bit out where my lashes would go, like the natural line. So for my mascara, I'm gonna use the Primark PS Beauty Mascara by Harley Right. I've been actually obsessed with this. I didn't even review about it. I'm gonna link it so you guys can check it out. It's a 3D lash effect mascara. Guys, honestly, I've been using this every single day. Love the brush, love everything about it. I'm telling you, I'm using the products that I'm using every single day. That's my like daily makeup. I'm gonna quickly curl my lashes. I always mess up my makeup with mascara. I'm gonna use the mascara shield. All right, so mascara is on and the makeup look is complete. As easy as this, honestly, I think this is the fastest ever eyeshadow look that I've been showing you guys ever. This is my everyday go-to makeup when I don't have time really to play with the eyeshadow but I want my eyes to you know look more awake and brighter and bigger and not as hooded if I would want to transform it for more of an evening look I would go with this wake up and makeup LA Chloe magnetic lashes I've been obsessed with this I wear it a lot I have to admit, it's super easy to use. So if I would want to make my lashes more appealing, I would go for this set. But for a daytime look, I'm more than happy with just mascara on. Yeah, I don't have a problem with that. So I think I'm gonna leave it like this, with just mascara on. Because this is how I would wear daytime. If I would go somewhere in the evening, I would leave my makeup the way this and I would just add a bit of a magnetic lashes on. So what do you guys think of this makeup look? watching this and you found this video helpful if so please don't forget to press the thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more and i shall see you soon so thank you so much for watching and bye Jeff and I, guys have a great day